someone just said in the chat maybe this is the last uh, qualifier we ever see with Greece. That's a bit harsh. I don't think he's saying that bad. I think it's because of uh, the whole... I'm not sure. I mean, someone's... I see what he did. There, so I don't know if I'm missing something about the... No, I'm assuming I'm not being part of Europe anymore. Are they not a part of Europe anymore? I'm not sure. I'm <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know if I've missed something. But, uh, no, I don't know. Maybe I, I know. I thought he was uh, like referring to the fact that you know Greece had that Euro money issue or whatever, and then they might kick him out for being in so much debt or something. I don't know. But anyways, guys, we are live. This is overtime. Mr. Five and both teams have 16k. Yet yeah, they do have 16k. So wow, CGS rules. Let's get everything rolling. So Babinho along with T-Sack near long and what are we going to see different from Andorra? Are we going to see anything different or Dino still playing like he doesn't really give a monkey stoss but oh well whatever floats your boat and we need to, to see Greece of course now capitalize we saw him earlier on on T-Sack they didn't look that good but now they look slightly warmed up so perhaps just maybe just maybe there's a glimpse of hope for him that we are going to see something different so Chuck will put that smoke down and uh, you were talking earlier on about players not walking through smokes and Ordino might make Chuck pay the price he is. He's going to run out of bullets but fortunately for him he uh, fell back. He only has one HP though. So Greece already one man down. Babinho is he going to do exactly what Chuck was doing? Of course he'll be looking to of course not die like his teammate. The rest of the terrorists have made their way onto uh, short. I think that's been called cool. Soldier through that nade. A bit premature. He's going to throw that flash. It'll definitely hold him up for a little bit. Babinho will get that frag onto Ordino and the stampede of terrorists begins. Frazito onto Soldier. That AK 47 is such a powerful weapon. And uh, he showed us exactly why it's so powerful. And he showed us again. So El Guaje and Canillo now rotating onto short. Pro Boom does have that up. And uh, he's going to flash short as the bomb goes down. It's not a long plant, so they're going to have to try to take short. Pro Boom does so very well. And what can Canillo pull out of the bag here? He's all by himself. He's going to take down one. That nade is going to come flying towards him. And SMNF blows Canillo to smithereens. 1-0 to Greece. The Greeks just showed Andorra how to play T-side and hold a bomb site. I mean, they talked in, like I said, how you should do it. There's no overextending. There's no overconfidence you know and it's, it can't be now I mean we're in overtime I mean, we say this time after time but Counter-Strike still still well the mentality plays a massive part in Counter-Strike and with Greece being five or six rounds down and they fought and made their way back into the game and brought it to overtime maybe just maybe they have that little edge of momentum that they needed to perhaps take what should have been their game in the first place or at least according to the bookies. But anyways, four on four. Ordino will get that lovely up shot onto Pro Boom. As his teammate is going to run away. Zem is going to push him in. He's going to spray through those double doors. They're both spraying at each other. And Babinho showed Zemma how to shoot through doors properly. t Sack makes his way outside of B. Gets that kill onto Canillo. But ooh, there's the bomb for Soldier. He's got the bomb with him at lowers. And he's, uh, of course... One man less than his opponents, but Sack is only on 29 HP. So he's going to spot Babinho. Oh, Soldier, he was three versus one. And he took Babinho down. Oh, I think he's seen Chuck. Chuck, of course, only on 29 HP. Chuck needs to pick that bomb up, and he has. So Soldier, I don't think he's aware that Chuck has the bomb. So he's keeping his eye on B. And I think he's most certainly going to see Chuck cross over. Yes, he does. So... Can uh, Soldier pull this three versus one clutch off? He's going to nade on the window and it's going to deal. Oh, lovely nade from Soldier. The three versus one clutch. Well played by him. And he's going to get the defuse. And oh. what a round. That was a nail biting game of hand mouse. And it was just so anti climactic. I was expecting a nice firefight at the end. Not to finish it with the grenade. And I don't know if you saw the really sly plant by Chuck. Tried to put it between the boxes. I don't know if you can, but. Uh, yeah. Trying to sort of uh, hide see it, yeah. the CT to try and buy him. Tell you what, ever since I started playing Go after playing Source, I've had a lot of trouble finding 
bombs when they're planted. I don't know what it is about CSGO, but it just seems like the bomb can camouflage a lot better. Where he's back to the game, El Guardi's the, uh... got company here on the B-bomb site. One of his teammates has rotated to help him. SMNF will take Canelo down at the doors. And El Guardi absolutely surrounded by Greek players. So three versus four now. Fabinho, SMNF, Pro Boomer, Frizzito, the T's left breathing for the Greeks. Soldier trying to make his way through windows. He's going to spam through the boxes. So he was flashed. So how are Andorra going to deal with this retake? More or less... Same HP. So he's going to push through window. Pro Boom took down Zemmer. And Ordino is going to do the sensible thing and fall back and save his weapon. He is, of course, four versus one. Very good B push from Greece. They definitely caught... Oh, good shot from SMNF. He uh, timed it to perfection. And took down Ordino. Didn't allow him to save his weapon. And in the long run, that could make a difference. 2-1 to Greece in overtime. I mean, I'm getting bored of saying it now. I mean, again, they talked in, they held it. It's really disciplined as well, you can tell. Because, like, they'll go, you watch tunnel, you watch window. Us two watch the doors. And again, the CT did rush through the smoke on the window. And, uh... I mean, he got the... He was just got a bit unfortunate on his time. Oh, uh... <laughs> two man from Ordino already. Uh, I'm not sure what the Greeks were trying to do. They were sort of stood on top of each other at Long Hut there. And, uh... They found themselves two men down. Going towards mid to B. They've made their way into lowers. And that CT will definitely have heard them in. El Guaje received the call and dealt with Frazito. He's going to get flashed, but he hasn't been flashed well enough. And El Guaje could have got the three man there. Probum got the kill. But Canillo was ready to save his. Uh, well, to back up his teammate despite his death. And 2 2. Again, uh, the Greeks just players. Honestly, they just they all split up, they all did their own thing. And you can't really do that at this stage of the game, especially on T side. So, with this overtime being 16k, both teams can still afford to buy weapons. Of course, MR5, so this is the last round of this overtime half. Zito, ooh, almost shot T Sat's face off there. Of course, they are on the same team. So boom. Has an eye on mid. Soldier is going to get first blood onto t sack near short. Boom, however, he's, gonna, he's finally pushing short with just an AWP in his hands. Whatever floats your boat. Fabinho and his teammates coming to back him up. But I think the CTs are more or less sussing this one out. Zemma waiting on the bomb site. Down goes that nade on short. Andorra, they are a man up, but both Ordino and Soldier a relatively heavy tag. So for Zito. He's going to join up with his teammates, going long. He does, of course, have the bomb. No, it's actually Babinho, but hang on a second. Ordino can hear them, and Ordino could make him pay the price. Is he going to do that? He's going to get one and two, but he couldn't get that last player. Pro Boom is the last man standing. Gemma pops around the corner to get that third CT round of this overtime half. 3-2 to Andorra. I'm not uh, quite sure what happened there, because the uh, Go TV was a bit likey, but... Uh... I'm sure uh, he can't have gone that far, leave the other in the other round. I'm, oh. I'm not sure what happened. Well, I think the three of them were on short and then they fell back towards long and Ordino, well, shooting practice for him. Oh, okay. Right. Just held the corner and they made a lot of noise, so they dealt with him. So this is the second half now, of course. Andorra are 3 2 up. So Andorra need three rounds to emerge victorious but Pro Boom has something else in mind we'll get that first early frag onto El Guaje t Shark holding that A-bomb site for the Greeks SMNF with an M4 along with Babinho in the B-bomb site interesting how the setups have differed between both sides Greece like to play um, sorry Greece like to play two CTs in B sometimes and Andorra well they've opted for the one person in B and uh, it's interesting to see how both CTs have varied from each other. So, Ordino with that up, Canelo in lowers. So I'm gonna join him and we could see a cheeky mid to be pushed. The smoke isn't out in CT, so the call's gonna come in now and I think the T's are gonna be surrounded but it doesn't matter. Babinho has got his shooting gloves on, took down Zemmer and Canelo. Soldier and Ordino. Now Ordino, he's got that big green gun in the AWP, which is it's not very versatile. Ooh, that smoke was out there, but Pro Boom can shoot through smokes. He doesn't care. And Ordino 
I think he's going to try and save the sword for this. No, he's not. Pro Room's going to shoot him through a smoke instead and uh, get a nice hat trick to his name. So 1 0 to the Greeks, even though it says 1 0 Andorra at the top. Yeah, I was about to say that, yeah. I got confused there. But, um, it's just, it was a good crossfire, really. I mean, the two, two T's he pushed from here, they had no idea what was going on. They were being shot from both sides. But it's, it is a tight match, honestly. I, I don't know who will win. So Frazito's got company here at long. They're trying to push him, he's doing the sensible thing and falling back. He's going to boost his teammate onto that bomb site. The terrorists, of course, now have more or less full control of long. The bomb is sat in pit. Pro Boom has that AWP, so if he does end up spotting the bomb, he'll be able to call it for his teammates. Oh, just missed it by a millimetre there. He almost took that. Oh, he got it second time round. And you know what they say for Orpers, never peak twice. But Frazito's got company on short now. Soldier's going to push him. Oh, the flash goes out from Frazito, but Soldier was too quick for him. Got that frag. Pro Boom with his second. Soldier and Canillo now. The last men standing for the Andorans and the Greeks. They look solid. But as we were flashed there, Canillo pushed out along and got two kills. So Soldier, wow. I'm not sure how that happened. <laughs> Canillo is now on the A-bomb site, the bomb's down, 2 versus 2, 2 versus 1, sorry, SMNF, gonna throw that nade and it could take Soldier out, Soldier only on 4 HP, both Andorians of course on low HP, so SMNF, he's gotta get a move on, Ooh, but Canillo will get his own hat trick, I missed what happened at long because, well, I was spectating the person on short and the flash came in, but all of a yeah, sudden, so I. flashed, Canillo bombed out along and took down two CTs. So well played, Canillo. Yeah, that was all Canillo there because the T's on the shore pushed through smoke. I had no idea Frazito was by the stairs. Which, uh, yeah, Canillo was everything there, really. So El Guaje took that quick long peek with his AWP. Doesn't, it's not a very popular thing to do because, well, if you've got two rifles there, they can punish you. But fortunately for him, he did get that frag and he's going to get a second one into Pro Boom. And he's going to open up the map for Andorra now. Fabinho, however, has something else in mind. He's going to take Zemmer down close by and he's using that smoke to hide. Is it going to pay off for him? Oh, well played. Sat through the smoke. I'm not sure how we pulled that off. But the Greeks, despite Jack's antics, are still a man down. And they're preparing for this retake off short now. So SMNF and Babinho. SMNF is just going to pre-flash short for his teammate. But of course there are no T's on short. So it's a standard plan. El Guaje playing Goose or Graffiti. Whatever you want to call it. The smoke is out. And I think we're going to start seeing flashes coming in from the CT's. They're definitely taking their time, the Greeks, on this one. The clock is ticking, of course. Babinho's uh, pushed. Oh, good shot from Babinho. And it's all down to this Orpa. Babinho spots him. He's going to pull the trigger. But it doesn't matter because SMNF took him down at long. And the Greeks... I honestly oh, thought that was going to be the Andorra's, uh, Andorians round. But the Greeks, well... Again, it's going back to what we were saying earlier on. We've seen what they're capable of. We just need to see him do it on a more regular basis. Well, I, I was it's been to be an Andorra round, but uh, like I said, they, they'd leave the bomb site to itself, really. I mean, they find themselves in not great positions, and they're paying the price for it, really, uh, for, for three rounds for Greece. So the terrorists, oh, they're very close at long. Pro Boom's in trouble. Talking about trouble. Down he goes, Frazito. He's going to go down to Ordino. And we've seen Andorra take long, not just two of them, but three of them, they're cementing their position at long and they're working from there, and to be fair, it's working for them so far, they are of course one round ahead, so El Guaje is going to take his position in pit, we've seen him get a kill from them, we've also seen him get killed once himself, zemmer has got company, double doors, he'll definitely call where his position is, and now two AKs are trying to take him down, but none of them could take him down, well, they needed that kill, but Saki's going to live for another day, Spoke too soon, commentator's curse. Zemmer's going to take him down. So, four versus two. SMNF and Babinho. Bye bye, Babinho. And Andorra are going to stomp right onto this A bomb site. SMNF, he has that AK 47. And he's decided to go for the long route, which should make things interesting. Of course this clutch is entirely possible. They're not looking. I mean, they're all pretty possible. low health, yeah. Yeah. So, he's 
going to make his way out along there. SMNF is going to get that first frag of this one versus four. El Guardia on 18 HP. Or Dino on 17. So, like Johnny said, this is possible. But SMNF, you have to get a move on. But El Guardia had the AWP. <laughs> And probably a bit of the commentator's curse there. And we've got 2-2. Two, two. And Dora, of course, need two more rounds to uh, emerge victorious out of this overtime and win map number one, which is Dust 2. So again, it's 16k for both sides. So they are able to buy up. We haven't seen many Ecos or Decos floating about. Binho was tagged with an AK-47 through double doors earlier on. SMNF, he's uh, going to cross tunnels now. Little does he know that he's got a terrorist right outside waiting for him. Ooh, he's had damage dealt onto him. Gwadji playing with that AWP outside along. Zemmer with, uh, well, the auto sniper. Why not? It's always nice uh, for a change to see a new gun being, being used between both sides. So, very, very slow round from the Greeks. Not a Spartan rush by any means, but we could see a Spartan rush now. Willow making his way onto short along with Ordino. The flash goes over double doors. So are we going to see a mid to B, or are we going to see a short take? Only time will tell. We are going to see a mid to B. Fabinho's in a bit of a mess, but he's going to get that kill nevertheless. And for some reason, Go TV's changed. I'm we can not only sure. assume that's because of the delay, and that means Andorra's won.